When his mom turned out the light and left the room and closed the door, he hid under his covers. He thought there was a monster under his bed. Then, then we went biking. We were swimming in the ocean. My hands were up, my head was back. I said, ah. But nobody knew why Bob was so sad. Not the monkey, tiger, lion, gorilla, nobody. Differences, it's what makes us human. In our schools, there's no such thing as one size fits all. It's very important that we give the personalized learning and attention to each child because they're all at such different places in their writing and each child needs a, a different kind of support system around them. I could just sit down for you know a, a little bit and just say, wow, I really like what you did right there and that'll keep the child going for the whole rest of the time just because I took that time to sit down with them. Some students <laughs> learn by doing. Others by listening. Some draw, others dance. Some write, some paint. Others equate and calculate. Some take more time, others not enough. Our students are different, yet they're the same. Because in the end, they all share one thing, the attention of a teacher. I kind of like this line. Which one? I can't tell. Once upon a time in the land of sun and fun, in the warm, clear oceans of colorful fish. In the Writer's Workshop model, my students thrive upon individual feedback. What part do you think is giving you the most trouble? Um, probably from around here to here. So do you think you could restructure it like that? Yeah. I was playing a game of ping pong with an octopus. I with only two arms and him with six more. I know um, this is hard, but what part do you think is the best? I think Watching the students when they share a piece that they have worked so hard on and they're so proud of, and they get the accolades from their peers who are their audience, and they have that sense of pride that I am a true writer. I am an author, and it just builds their self-esteem and helps them in every subject area as a result. Well, mine is like from the circus, and so she's kind of crazy and silly and gangly. The students really come up with their own idea. And I really like the eyelashes. <laughs> what you want to give back is positive, critical th feedback, something that's going to help the artist in the next project they do. I came up with the idea because I just like, I really like pandas and I wanted to do something that was like something real. He, he just kind of started out as a very, very big kind of lumpy thing and he ended up as a, as a pretty big lumpy thing. So yeah, He used the um, shape and form really well and um, I like how the hands are like reaching to the leg for like support and balance. Everyone comes with a different mark. That's you know what they do with their signature. And so in order to develop that, they have to have that venue. Um, they're not always going to have that opportunity. So it's so important for um, them to have this place where they feel like they can express themselves. Like when you write, you use voice. And like so it's the same thing in art. You like portray yourself in the art you make. I think it's really important for the students to um, really learn about their own creativity and be confident with it um, because in the 21st century they need to be able to take that confidence and feel comfortable with their creativity, their imagination, their innovation into the working place where they can collaborate and share their ideas. To see that it actually works, it made me feel pretty good that it like, was actually successful. So first of all, Iran is in war with what country? What neighboring country? Iraq. Our main focus is education, not just on core academic subjects, but on educating the whole child, a more holistic approach. Do you agree with that statement that once you turn 14, you no longer need your parents? In this kind of place where it's like, it's not as, like, life comes at you faster, kind of like bombings and all that kind of stuff, maybe at 14 you wouldn't need your parents as much. Cool. Anybody else want to add on that? Bronwyn. I think she's affected 
by things she sees going on around her, like there's 14 year olds like going off to war. And the teaching like, style at Crest is really personalized. The teachers really focus on making sure that the student has everything they need to learn better and achieve their academic goal. There's guidelines here, but it's like when you do a project, it's like you ask them if you can do it the way you want to do it. And they open it up so that when you want to do a project, like make, make a movie, they'll let you make a movie about it instead of doing just a poster or PowerPoint. I think it's important for kids because uh, if you're just one of the students in the box, so to say, you are going to get left behind in a modern world that is looking for people who have creativity, cre people who are inspired and can take their creativity and their inspiration and push it to new things that we haven't seen yet. This year, the Mercer Island School District 2020 vision articulates a new commitment to personalized learning, preparing students for our rapidly changing world. Yet the state of Washington is further cutting funding for education. I think kids should have a choice in what they wear, and schools shouldn't prevent kids from showing who they are. You were able to use what you learned in this whole journey this whole reflection and include it in your on-demand writing. My teacher helped me learn to write by like telling us to show not tell so instead of saying she was cold like she was shivering all over. She helped us explain more and so it made um, writing a lot more interesting. At the end of the journey I think and I hope every single student is more aware of who they are, more aware of, of the way they study, more aware of what their needs are, um, and that will enable them to transition to middle school and high school a lot better. 21st century education isn't about memorizing things, isn't about mastering a body of knowledge, it's about thinking, it's about creating and innovating. I sometimes wonder, how I can ask my teachers to do more than they're already doing. If we're going to attain the 2020 vision, I need every single staff member I presently have. Our students are different, yet they're the same. Because in the end, they all share one thing, the attention of a teacher and the commitment of our community.